Hey guys, what's up? Me and Gina Tintino back here again. Another episode of Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. Um, last time we finished up this mission, the Escape from the Forest Snare. And we watched the little scene. We learned that Welkin's uh, mom died in the war and his dad and stuff like that. Well, dead did not. Actually, I don't know if his dad died. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and watch this scene now called Life. So, here we go. Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Welkin, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Uh, help me! Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... <laughs> well, uh, that was pretty sad. Poor guy. Just one, you know... War victim. Uh... Well, let's watch this bonus episode called Those Left Behind to see what Azara and Rosie and Largo are all doing. And then we're going to jump right into One in Depth and the scenes that follow. And I think we're going to start the next mission uh, this episode. So, I'll see you guys after all these three little scenes up here. So, enjoy. Find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Isara, how about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. <sighs> Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. Your Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we'll all toe up, hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you could do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Um, sure. Welkin, I... I could... 
couldn't do anything for that poor man. He was lying there asking me for help, but all I could do was watch him die. That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. The look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Welkin. I'd always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. Yeah, they are. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but... If we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. Hey, Welkin, did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and Ease, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? Sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom, Rosie and Isara are like daughters. And Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own, you hear me? All right, Welkin. And thanks. The helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. Well, I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right. Alright, so, uh, pretty cool scenes there. I, I like that one with the uh, Gregor and everything. Except, I don't know, Gregor always seemed meaner, like, when you saw him in the strategy meeting thing, but I guess he's really not so bad. He seemed like a pretty good guy back then. And I lied, um, 
the reunion in the forest battle we'll have to wait till next time so you know we watched a few scenes mostly about Welkin and Alicia being stuck in a cabin trying to save some dude named Fritz but he died so um yeah next time on let's play Valkyria Chronicles we'll have a reunion in the forest so thanks for watching guys later days